Right, this ugly little beast here is celeriac. I adore celeriac. One of my favourite ways to have it, two favourite ways, is to roast the celeriac and puree the celeriac. Now, when you puree it, you cook it in a bit of milk. You soften it all off, lots of herbs, a bit of garlic, put some milk in there, a bit of butter or whatever, and just cook it for quite a long time. And then um, you put it into uh, a liquidizer to liquid, liquidize it. It's really good. It's superb. Now, take that off. First of all, you take the root bit off. Right, so this is going to be, you cut, I cut it like this. So I'm not going to cut it square because you, if you do, what you do is you actually lose a lot of the actual root itself. Now, so it's obvious the way to do it is to cut it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is if I was going to roast it, I would cut it into about uh, a centimetre and a half like that. I would then, because I want to make it, um, I want to make it quite neat, I would cut the outside off. I would use that for puree. That's puree. All the odd sorts of, literally a puree. I would then take that like that and I would cut that like that. Now, the reason why they're so big, because there is quite a lot of water in root vegetables, believe it or not, they shrink quite a lot. So I start off with it being quite big. Now, the next stage is celeriac, is, is a roumelade. Now, if I'm doing a roumelade, which is raw celeriac, which I absolutely adore, you would cut it off first of all, very th as thin as you possibly can do it. If you're going to do this at home, please be careful because you don't want to cut your, there we are, you don't want to cut your fingers. So, now the trick is to do it as fine as possible. This you put with a little bit of mayonnaise, lemon juice, mayonnaise, and it's the most delicious cold salad. Um, it's called celeriac roumelade and it's delicious. <laughs> It's absolutely yummy. Okay, now we're going to now do a dice, a fine dice, because obviously this is wonderful in a pilaf or a soup. So we're going to now cut it in two. Dice, that's all right. So again, I'm going to actually do this because again, my puree, my puree is there. All for puree. So now we're going to take this. So there's my dice. That's my fine, well, it's not fine, but it's diced, beautifully diced. So if I can have my pilaf, I can put it into a minestrone, I can do it for anything. And so the rest, well, the rest I can do what I want with. Whatever I want, I can roast it. Do when I do roasting, I can just have it in layers. You can do a celeriac dauphinoise. So if you are going to do it, if you do it, do it with potato as well, because there isn't a lot of starch on the, in here. So basically, you need that starch to hold it together. So I mix mine up, and you do it about that wide, all right? Look at that. So you layer it with a potato, with a celeriac and you've got your delicious, absolutely delish um, dauphinoise, but celeriac dauphinoise. There you go, there's your celeriac. That's what you can do with it.